Hey everybody, it's Johnny Fuel, and I'm about to head out on a trip um, from Albuquerque, New Mexico to Moab, Utah. Uh, I've never been to Moab, and I thought it would be great to go explore and check it out. I'd really like to go there sometime on my dirt bike, my pure dirt bike. Um, but for now, I wanted to go just see the sights and um, drive around and, and uh, just check it out um, on my adventure bike. Morning, everybody. It's Johnny Fuel, and uh, it's been a while since I rapped at you. But this morning, I am heading out to Moab, Utah, and I'm going to spend a week doing a shamrock tour from Moab. I've never been to Moab, so I'm excited to check it out. I really don't have any particular plans except to ride the Shamrock Tour route and to um, uh, you know just see things along the way. I also brought some camping equipment so I'm going to try camping for the first time um, and I don't know you know <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna go um, I'm just gonna check it out and if it's not for me it's not for me it certainly adds a little bit of a hassle factor to the equipment you have to carry. Uh, a lot more equipment, and but on the other end, you get to stay in some places you wouldn't otherwise be able to see. Um, you know, compared to a motel or something, um, and you know, maybe save some money. Um, campgrounds tend to be cheaper. I'd like to work up to being able to do some like dispersed camping or they call that free camping um, where you're on public lands not campgrounds but <clears throat> um, you know I have to make sure you know uh, I have to try this out in a campground where I have access to water and things just to make sure I have the supplies and I don't know through trial and error I might realize there's some critical things I really need or missing and you know I just I want to try it out in a place that's a little more I guess civilized or safe until I get into the dispersed camping. So today is going to be kind of a long day. It's going to be mostly a utilitarian day. I have to drive about 350 miles to get to Moab. Um, so it might be uh, might not be as fun. It's going to be the, the only real route there is highway. <clears throat> and there's some really pretty highways but it's uh, I, you know, I kind of prefer back roads and things like that when I can find them. So uh, I'm just gonna, you know, basically get there. I don't know if I'll film much today, but um, I'm, uh, I'm off. It's about eight. Uh, was it eight fifteen? I guess this morning. So yeah. So that's that, and uh, see how it goes. Well, I'm just on the outskirts of Farmington. 
and uh, what is it, uh, 11 o'clock. I'm not quite hungry yet. I think I'll go on to the next town, which is about 75 miles away, and then uh, maybe have some lunch there. And uh, so far, it's been pretty much highway, but um, if I'm lucky, maybe I can find some more interesting, um, some more interesting roads. Just had lunch at the Wiggling Pig, and just had a couple of uh, pork tacos. I didn't want to eat anything real heavy. They're really tiny tacos because it's very hot. It's in the 90s now, and um, but it was a nice little break. And uh, yeah, anyway, back on the road. I got about 100 miles to go. Yeah, it's warming up. Um, let's see, about 100 miles to go, and I wet my shirt inside so I'd have a little, you know, kind of built in air conditioning. <clears throat> Just because it's so warm. So, with that. Time to get back to it. <clears throat> I think I'm in uh, Cortez, Colorado, and um, in about 45 minutes, I think I'll be brought crossing the border to Utah, <clears throat> and then. And then it'll be another hour, a little more than an hour to Moab. So, yeah, get back to it. Looks like, yeah, my according to my temperature gauge, it's 92. A lot of motorcycles out. A lot of adventure bikes. I met some guys at a gas station that were doing the BDR. I can see some definite rain clouds over there. 
Yeah, I can even see the rain coming down. I don't know what the forecast is where I am, but a little bit of rain wouldn't bother me. I don't want to get caught in one of those dangerous, uh, you know, flash floods or hail, but uh, yeah, you can see it better now. Uh, but a little bit of a few raindrops, it would dry fairly quickly anyway. But uh, I don't know if it's moving this way or not. All right, well, I'm kind of waiting out the rain and um, I had put my camera on top of the uh, ice machine. So I was getting this, uh, this hum and the audio didn't come out very good. So that's why I'm doing a voiceover. Here you can see the clouds um, because behind me it looks really nice, but um, straight overhead I could see some storms and uh, rain. And, you know, you saw earlier there were some, some heavy storms in the background. And the desert can get these pretty intense flash floods, so I was just waiting to see what was going on and what was going to happen with that, uh, you know, with that storm cloud. So um, just took a little break, had a drink, and uh, watching the sky. Well, I've been sitting here a while, and I'm going to just give it a shot. Clouds still look a little threatening, but... Uh, they also look kind of isolated, so maybe I'll, if I do hit something, maybe I'll drive out of it soon enough. Oh. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and give it a go. This one there. I guess we're going down in elevation quite a bit to get to Moab. I should have known that, but I don't know. I really don't know much about Moab. I can see we're going down pretty steep and temperatures are going up. So I'm about uh, 10 miles from Moab, and it uh, seems like we've been going downhill for the last hour. And the uh, temperature has been going up. It's now 98 degrees. Um, so usually what happens when you go down in elevation. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is really a common temperature here or if it's a, kind of a hot day or, or what. but. Um, Yep, I should be in Moab soon. Next, I gotta find my hotel. And uh, then I'll check in and take a little, relax a little bit. Maybe cool off and um, get my gear unloaded. And, I don't know, I don't know yet. I'll have to get some dinner tonight too. you have your initial here for no smoking, no pits, and okay. sign on the bottom for me, please. All right, well, this is my room. <sighs> Get rid of my jacket. Start bringing stuff in. <clears throat> I have a dinner at the uh, restaurant adjacent to the hotel called the Moab Grill. And uh, it's just really convenient. It's right here, so I kind of can't help myself. I'm going to try their fish and chips. Also, today is the end of my uh, first day. Um, and uh, I am in my hotel, the Big, Big Horn Lodge or something like that. Um, it was a long day driving. I'm going to probably break it up when I do go home and get partway there. But uh, So I'm pretty exhausted. They have a pool here, and it was 105 degrees today. So I got a chance to go use that. Um, and, um, and then had some dinner. And you can see my room. I uh, pretty much had an explosion of uh, gear and stuff. 
But uh, <clears throat> uh, but anyway, that's going to be it for tonight. Tomorrow, I'm going to start the route, um, the the area here around Moab. I have my my day one uh, route, which is about 70 miles. Doesn't sound like much, but I think it's a lot of twisties and a lot of places to stop and take pictures. So that's the plan for tomorrow. So I'm just going to relax a little bit and then get to bed early.